So Wafti asked me to create a special program just for him. He has been getting so inspired and so excited and motivated to start Pilates after seeing me doing all this content creation and Pilates videos as well as exercise programs just for you. So basically what I've done is created a five step, five exercise program for him that he can do every day for the next few weeks and he can build as he gets stronger. So that's what we're gonna do. If you wanna join us, please feel free. This is our first day and our first week of these different types of exercises and they are going to be starting from a fundamental basis so that he too can do those advanced type exercises that you see in our other videos. I think he really wants to be able to do them but I can imagine how frustrated he gets not being able to do them and also I love watching him trying because it's absolutely hilarious. So we are going to build on to that and he will one day be able to get there but it is a basic patience game but also a practice game. So these are the few exercises that we are going to be starting with. We're going to be starting in the center of the mat. I'm going to be running you through each exercise. Some of the exercises are add-ons. So let's get into that neutral spine, neutral pelvis, drawing that belly to spine, drawing the shoulders down that back. We're going to inhale. And on that exhale, lift right leg into tabletop and inhale. And on the exhale, lift left leg into tabletop. Remember to make sure that you have a good secure 90 degree angle in those knees and in those hips. And we're just going to activate that core, ensuring that we have a deep activation in those lower abdominals, drawing belly to spine. And we're going to inhale and exhale as I count down from 10 and inhale nine, Exhale, eight, and keep breathing. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And from here, we are going to go into our double leg toe taps, making sure that we are secure in that pelvis. So when we toe tap, there's no movement there. It's just stability as those legs go down. Exhale down and inhale up. And we're doing eight of these, that's two and three and four keep going and five making sure that you are activated six and seven and eight and back up right leg down left leg down we're going to interlace our hands comfortably behind our heads, making sure those elbows are in our periphery. We're going to inhale. And on that exhale, rolling head, neck and chest off the ground, lifting those scaps and inhale down. Please make sure that the distance between your knees are a fist width apart and the distance between your feet and your glutes are a foot and a half away. You are going to do another six of these well we're doing six we're not doing another six don't panic we are going to do another two more to get to our six and on the sixth one we're going to stay in the air and we're going to lift a little bit higher and we're going to inhale and on that exhale rotate our elbow towards our right knee or our left rib towards our right hip, inhale center, then right rib towards left hip back to center. That's two, keeping going, keeping that stability and activation. That's four and two more, that's five and six and slowly rolling head, neck and chest back onto the floor. We're going to place our hands on our sides, we're slowly going to inhale and on that exhale, slowly tilting that pelvis up towards the ceiling, then peeling that vertebra off the floor, one vertebra at a time. So those hips are in the air. We're going to stay in this position, maintaining that hip height. We're going to Dig those heels into the ground and I want you to imagine them coming towards your glutes and squeezing those glute max muscles. We're slowly going to 
make sure for now that your knees aren't falling out that you are actually actively engaging those inner thigh muscles to maintain that positioning we're going to hold for 10 seconds breathing in and out as i count down from 10 and inhale and exhale 10 9 keep breathing 8 7 you should be getting a nice burn over here 5 4 3 2 now i want you to slowly pull your knees away from each other but this is a controlled movement you're not just letting them fall you are pulling them away and as you're doing that you are working extra hard to emphasize that positioning and height of those hips as well as that tilt of that pelvis towards your chin and slowly back in and you are going to do eight of these so you should really focus on that feeling of that activation into those hamstrings and lower glute max muscles and squeezing out using those inner thigh muscles to pull yourself back in and we are going to do four more and exhale out inhale back in exhale out that's two we've got two more to go and keep going making sure you're not flaring those ribs and you're not bracing that tummy and last one exhale out inhale back in we're going to dig those heels into the ground and we're going to extend that right leg we're going to lift into tabletop and extend and align those knees and hold pushing those shoulders into the ground for 10 9 keep pushing 8 7 6 five four making sure that those hips are aligned and those knees are aligned and back to tabletop dropping left leg to the floor inhale and exhale lift that right leg into tabletop and extend that leg aligning those knees and holding for ten keep breathing nine eight seven six five four three two one bringing that leg back to tabletop dropping the, that foot lifting those hips to inhale and slowly roll yourself back down to starting point we're going to extend our legs we're going to point those toes towards the wall in front of us extending arms overhead and we're going to inhale and on that exhale slowly roll ourselves up into a seated position if you struggle you can just bend your legs and pull yourself up with your hands we're going to bring our feet shoulder width apart keeping palms facing each other i want those ankles to be flexed and we're going to inhale and on that exhale slowly roll chin then neck and chest down towards those knees allowing a stretch down that spine and into the back of those legs and inhale back up we're just going to do five of these and exhale slowly down pushing those knees into the ground pointing those toes up towards the ceiling and inhale back up and exhale slowly down and inhale back up we've got two more chin neck then chest all the way down and reach and slowly back down let's challenge ourselves on that last one stacking that vertebra and on the exhale rounding that spine and reaching 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 and slowly coming back up into that seated position So what I said to Wapti is that he must do those exercises every day. If he's feeling strong enough, he can do that set or that sequence twice 
in the day, either in the morning and in the evening or consecutively. And then next week, I'm going to progress him with some new and exciting exercises. So let me know if you're going to be joining us. I'm looking very forward to it. I'm really looking very forward to his progression and his improvement. And hopefully one day we can get him on camera doing one of those rollovers or jackknives that we did in some of our last videos of our 30 day workout sequences. So I'll see you in the next video and if you like that video hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.